Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com, and today what we're talking about is an argument I hear all the time. It's about, should I get a pedal kayak or should I have a paddle kayak for fishing? So we're gonna cover the pros and cons of having the pedal. I'm kinda old school, I like paddle. You know, I've been fishing out of canoes and paddle kayaks since I was probably four or five years old. So I kinda like those better, but you have to decide what kind of uses you're gonna have, how far you're gonna travel, you're gonna go offshore. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about all those things and the pros and cons of each right now. So here we go. All right. Pedal versus paddle kayak fishing. All right, For first of all, let's cover the cons. You know, you just can't go in water that's a foot or less. And I, I'm in water a foot or less quite often when I'm in my, uh, when I'm in my kayak. So that's one of the cons of having the pedals because you have those big uh, fin thing, you know, your pedal things in the water. Um, you, it's just not going to work. So, so they're good for, you know, 18 inches and deeper, but uh, anything less than that, no good. You're going to be scraping the bottom. You might actually mess them up. Another big one, it's a thousand dollars more. I mean, the bottom line, if you want, if you want pedal power, it is a thousand dollars more. Also, those pedals, even if the water is uh, deep enough for you, if there's a lot of grass or, or anything like that in the, in the water, they really get gunked up. They'll get, uh, you know, they, they go like this. They're going to get clogged up with all of the debris and all the stuff floating in the water there. So um, they get gunked up real easy. Uh, another con is they weigh 40, 50 pounds more than uh, one without it because you have to be very reinforced that part where they where the, your, your pedal drives go in it has to be reinforced with a lot heavier plastic. So they're usually about 40 or 50 pounds heavier. Uh, another thing is, you know, it's almost like an engine. If you don't bring a paddle to and your pedal drives break, you know, you're out of luck. Uh, there's another one that I didn't add on here. And it's, uh, you know, a lot of times you'll get a jack or maybe a shark or something that's dra dragging you all over the place. Well, they'll run the line underneath underneath your uh, kayak and they'll actually get your line will get caught on the pedals whereas a paddle kayak doesn't have anything to get caught up on underneath it it's just a flat bottom all right but let's go ahead and talk about the pros here uh, this is a huge pro to me as far as the pedal kayaks go versus paddle is hands-free fishing you know you're in there using both hands being able to do what you want uh, you know you can go forward and backwards you can turn them um, you know, it's, it really makes it easier to fish um, if you're going to be fishing mangroves or anything like that. Uh, here's another one. They're faster. You know, I've raced some other people in my paddle, <laughs> my paddle kayak versus their pedal kayaks, and uh, they, they pretty much beat me every time. So, so they're definitely more efficient and faster as far as that kind of goes and easier to maneuver, like I said, because you have a forward and you know backwards type thing and then uh, you you can also turn left or right you know very easily and here's another thing that has basically the same thing you don't need anchors as much you know you can stay uh, in a certain spot in the water much easier uh, because in fish because you don't need to throw an anchor out um, to keep you in that one spot so it does make it a little easier to fishing for fishing uh, and the last one, they're great for trolling, you know, because you can hold on to the actual uh, rod versus having the rod holder. You know, I do something where I like to troll. I'll get a, I'll get a bobber and maybe three feet of uh, leader, and I'll troll DOA lures for tarpon. And if I can hold on to it, like if the wind's blowing me just right, I can set the hook a lot better versus having them in my rod holder as I'm paddling. So there's definitely some pros and cons to each of these. Uh, you know, I still like paddling. Maybe I like the challenge, more exercise. I don't know what I like. But I still use paddle all the time uh, because, I, you know, I do go in a lot skinnier water a lot of times, too, and a lot of exploring on them. And I don't go offshore. I'm strictly inshore. Now, if I was going to go offshore, I'd probably have uh, pedal power versus paddle power. So these are just the pros and cons. I wanted to cover those if you're thinking about, you know, what you want to get into kayak fishing you don't know which one to get yeah that's up to you it just depends on what you're you're gonna like you know what you're gonna use it for uh, me I'm fine with paddle kayaks they're cheaper uh, that's just how I do it but uh, that's just me 
But you can learn more of this on our website. It's www.fisheryassoff.com. We have a how-to section, a where-to section, a what-to section. Just basically it's a website with simple tips to help fishermen catch more fish. So, till next time, we'll see you then. All right, bye-bye.